All right, welcome back, everybody. It's the talk of the town. We are happy with us on News 12 at 4. The Bryan County Turning Point Coalition and the Peyton Project are hosting the 2024 Back to School Bash this weekend. And here to share all the details is Kristen Brown, founder of the Peyton Project. We thank you so much for being here. Peyton is your son. Peyton is my son. So he was the inspiration. And let's talk a little bit about how you got inspired. Uh, because you went through the foster care system before you adopted him yes. at age six. So yes. what's the inspiration all about here, Kristen? Um, all of our inspiration for the Peyton Project stems from Peyton and his struggles that he had before he was adopted, such as not having school supplies, not having backpacks, um, not having Christmas. So we have an angel tree also, and it um, kids great. can be on it without, it doesn't matter their family dynamic or... Anything don't like have that. to be in the foster mm -hmm. care system or something like that. Um, yeah. All right, so let's talk about the supply drive that's yeah. going on. Be specific about what people can expect this weekend if they show up. Yes, the back to school drive is Saturday. The doors open at 8, and it runs until we run out of supplies. Okay. Um, backpacks, school supplies. We are also having an extra booth set up for sports equipment um, because a, a lot, lot of kids, kids need. Yeah. Yes, it's expensive, and they don't have access to it. And you are an expert because you tell me you have four boys. Yes. <laughs> so, not that girls don't play sports, but boys can really get expensive. Yes, uh, all of it, all of it's so expensive. Why should feel, people feel inspired to come visit over this weekend? Um, they should feel inspired because, I mean, there's most kids in our community can't afford the things that many can, and you don't think about it, like pencils, paper, backpacks, all of it. And it used to be, you know, some of those things were 10 or 20 cents. Mm -hmm. A, a box of crayons now yeah. you know, is twenty dollars. I mean, you know, all yeah, this and stuff. school supplies—they're asking for twelve boxes of crayons, not one. And so, oh. a school supplies list is easily over one hundred and fifty dollars per child. All right. So, if I want to get involved with your project, this is a, a, mm -hmm. a labor of love for you, and you just started it. Yes. Suppose I want to join you. Um, you can go to our website, and we have a volunteer questionnaire at the bottom. You just fill it out, or. Follow us on all social media platforms. Okay, what's the website again? I just want to make it sure. It would be www.thepaytonproject.org. Payton with an A. And I guess it's so important because like we talk about school lunches where kids would have to pay mm -hmm. or they'd get the peanut butter jelly sandwich or something and sort of be segregated. Here's a chance where nobody has to know, mm -hmm. you know where the supplies came from. No. And it's anonymous. Yeah. What, can I donate something if I wanted to? Go yes. to the website? Um, you can message us and we can pick up donations. There's multiple places in town. Um, that's all on our Facebook page where you can donate. Um, financially, you can donate. We have a donation link. All you have to do is reach out and we'll find a way to. One more time, Kristen. I think we have, maybe have a full screen. Let's talk about yeah, where to go and uh, what you get. Um, it is at the Boys and Girls Club in Durant this Saturday. North 5th, okay. Yes, August 3rd, 8 a.m. until the supplies run out. Well, I hope they do, actually. Yes, and know. we're going to have vouchers for haircuts as well. Terrific. Kristen, thank you so much, and good luck with yes, all you're thank doing. Thank you for having me. You're a marvel uh, taking care of four boys. <laughs> good for you. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back.